Hi, thanks for joining me. Um, so today I have a package here uh, right on my lap. Um, this comes all the way from Germany from a really cool person uh, on YouTube named uh, Ben. He goes by um, Action Verwalter. That's the best I'm going to do on your name. I'm probably screwing that up. Um, but uh, yeah, we um, he, he reached out to me, actually wanted some stuff that uh, is coming out here that uh, he's no longer able to get shipped to Germany. And, um, you know, we talked about it and, you know, I, I offered to, you know, go ahead and pick some of that stuff up for him. And uh, in exchange, um, he has uh, just sent this package here to me, which I want to, I want to show you guys. Um, so let's go ahead and, uh, and get started here. Um, there's a note. Um, he says, hi, Matt. I hope this package has arrived safely to you and please make an unboxing video of that, which I, uh, I definitely am. Um, I put some extra goodies in. I hope you can use them. Some game CDs and cases need a little bit of work. For the German food testing, I put a little truffle choco egg in. Thanks for the awesome trade and for all the videos you had made, Ben. So thank you so much, Ben. Um, and I will, I will admit, I have not touched this box at all, aside from opening it up and, and reading the note initially. But I heard choco truffle egg. And before I made this video, I could not help but eat this. So I now have a wrapper um, of this. But this is what I got. Um, let's see, what is this? This is, uh, it looks like Dunkler Truffle. Uh, and it looks like there's some kind of um, brand name on it. Uh, it's hard to read. Rigos, something like that. Uh, anyway, that's the package. And it was super good. I really liked this. Um... It, the interesting thing was it like it was noticeably less sweet than the same kind of thing that I would you know eat here. Um, we have uh, a local um, chocolatier, whatever you call it, um, called Lake Champlain uh, Chocolates uh, here in, in Vermont, and um, they make really good chocolate as far as I'm concerned. But they have something that's very kind of truffle-like. And it's it's sweeter than that. It's interesting. I actually really liked this because it's just um, it's not too sweet. It's just really like rich and chocolatey. It was it was really good. So thanks, uh, thanks for that, Ben. Uh, all right. So uh, so let's see here. Um, what is this? Oh, this is cool. So we've got um, like a a booklet here. This is uh, in German. Um, for Tomodachi Life. This is cool. I don't know if this is like an advertisement or a little game guide or something like that, but that's really neat. Very cool. I have not checked out Tomodachi Life on uh, on the 3DS. I'm thinking of expanding my 3DS, uh, you know, collection a bit here. In fact, I might have some more uh, some more pickups to show off in regards to that. Um, here we have, let's see, this is, um, wow, I'm on the spot here, I should know this. Wa Shime Mashita Seishun. And, uh, let's see, what is this? So this looks like this was like a, a, some sort of a free, again, maybe like a promo thing. This is really cool. It has like the little character descriptions and the um, information on the you know voice actors and stuff like that. Um, very cool. I like this. Or I'm seeing all the stuff and you guys don't get to see it. <laughs> Maybe I'll move this um, off my lap. And that what might I was sense. interested in, uh, I don't always you know think about the kind of PAL region and sort of Europe European releases in terms of what kind of stuff I might want. Um, but they do get a lot of Japanese games, uh, re excuse me, released there that we don't, um, here in the U.S. So, um, I was interested in some PlayStation 2 games, and of course, in order to be able to play those, I believe that I would need a, um, um, like a PAL region, uh, PlayStation 2. So, the, this is the PS2 right here, um, and it's a slim model, which is really cool. And, uh, you know, we'll see about uh, what I need to do in order to, um, to hook this up, but I'm assuming that I can, you know, hook it up to, a, um, you know, like an HDTV or something like that. Um, we'll, we'll see. I'll, uh, I'll investigate. But uh, there's the PlayStation 2 that I can use to uh, check out some of these games. Oh, 
Oh wow, this is so cool. I it looks like there's way more games in here than we talked about uh, him having managed to find. So I I gave uh, Ben a list of um, basically like simple series 2000 games that had come out there. So we have uh, Billiards Exciting. And interesting, these are all uh, like Age Tech and uh, and D3, which um, you know I mean that's the same essentially the same uh, publishers that release this stuff over here. Um, Deep Water. This looks really cool. This has some English on it. Giant Cuttlefish, Giant Sea Serpents, Giant Anglerfish. Become a Bounty Hunter of the Seas. Oh, this is cool. This is like a, um, maybe like a deep sea fishing, something like that. Um, next we have Basketball Exciting. This is more, looks like an exciting, um, series, maybe an exciting sports series. Um, become a street ball legend. I, l I don't know what it is. I love these games. I think just because they're, they're kind of cheesy and low budget, but I just, I really think that it necessarily means that they like, they get to, um, they don't get to like focus on all the crap that, <laughs> you know, AAA games tend to focus on and, um, they just have to like be fun basically or they suck. I mean, which is entirely possible. Um, Eternal Quest. Um, so this one, again, I don't know much about these, but this looks like a, uh, like an action RPG, um, which looks kind of fun. Oh, no, this is interesting. So this is, uh, Midas Interactive Entertainment. Um, so this, oh, well, this does have D3 Publisher on the back, so, yeah, there's that. Uh, what else do we got here? This is so cool. There's a whole bunch of games here. So we've got um, Street Boys. Uh, again, this is like another... Um, oh, actually, this is a, uh, a beat-em-up, I believe. Um, I don't see any English descriptions on the back here, so we'll have to see. But uh, that looks very cool, actually. I'm really looking forward to that one. And this, I think maybe it was just something that you tossed in. I don't know. Uh, this is uh, Dragon Ball Z uh, Budo Budokai Tenkaichi 3. So, uh, very, very cool. I'm actually, um, I'm not like a huge Dragon Ball fan, but uh, I do like it, and I've seen pretty much all of it. I saw like all of Dragon Ball, most of Dragon Ball Z. A lot of it's because one of my friends is really into it, but uh, these games always seemed pretty cool. I, I know I've played some of them with one of my uh, one of my friends, so that's cool. I'm definitely uh, looking forward to checking that so out. So I've got a... Uh, I've got some more of those other, uh, like, PS2 games, but I just ran across this, so this is like... This is a bunch of PlayStation games, I guess. This is cool. So we've got uh, just some of the um, instruction booklets here for these. It's like a Formula One. I guess that's the... Oops. Oh, this is like from the box art, maybe? Something like that? And uh, and there's a little binder here. So I'm assuming that this has some uh, some PS1 games in it. Oh wow, this is cool. Oh okay, this is actually the um, the discs. So I it looks like he uh, shipped the um, the discs separately from the cases, which is a really good idea, especially if it's like coming internationally, so the discs don't um, don't all fall off. So, all right, very cool. Well, let me take a look at the other boxes then, and um, we'll uh, we'll check those ones out. Oh yeah, so we've got Bust a Block. Um, so this is obviously like a puzzle style game again, something from the Simple series that uh, we didn't get here. Um, Tank Elite. Uh, which looks really cool. I'm I'm really excited about so, like some of these 3D tank games. Like um, uh, there's one on the the Dreamcast, which I'm really interested in getting. I think that was a, a Japanese exclusive. Um, oh, this looks cool. Uh, Deadly Strike. Um, wow, that's all in German. Um, then we've got uh, Zombie Attack. Um, now this. Gosh, which one is this? I should have like looked some of these up just to to find out because I was just wondering. I'm like, is this one of the Onetanbara games or something like that? I don't think that it is, um, 
But uh, anyway, like another, it's like a zombie action game anyway. Oh, nice. Oh, wow. I don't think that I don't think this is one that I was mentioning. Um, King of Fighters uh, 2003, uh, very cool. I uh, I really like um, King of Fighters. I'm not super good at fighting games, but I've always enjoyed the characters in this. And um, actually, I just picked up, um, I guess maybe just one King of Fighters game on a on a more recent uh, system. So uh, very cool. I'm really interested in checking this one out. Um, I've always liked the graphics on these games too. They're they're pretty great. Oh man, there's so many games in here. All right, so uh, oh nice. Um, next up, this is a favorite of mine, which uh, I now have the uh, PAL version. This will be great in my uh, Resident Evil collection. Um, Resident Evil Code Veronica X. Um, this is the one. It looks like that does come with the uh, Devil May Cry, um, like demo disc. So that's pretty cool. Um, Ultimate Casino. This is another one of those. Um, uh, simple series games, and you know, again, I just I love these. You know, you've just got like, you know, some sort of like Bishojo character, and you know, a bunch of different uh, different like casino card games and stuff. Um, it's just very cool. Uh, the Sniper Two, and um, I don't know if this is like, it looks like a sort of like what is it, Silent Scope, uh, maybe like a ripoff or something like that. Um, the Sniper Two. Very, very cool. Yeah. All right, so then this is the last uh, handful here. We've got um, Ultimate Mind Games. Uh, this looks like another collection of, like, you know, board games and stuff like that. We're basically talking, um, you know, card games, uh, looks like backgammon, chess, like that sort of stuff, Chinese checkers. Um, and again, you've got the little, uh, like, anime-style character portraits and stuff like that. So I've really been enjoying checking that kind of stuff out. Um, oh, wow, this is cool. Uh, again, this is something I, I hadn't uh, I hadn't requested. Um, Shadow of Rome. Uh, this is by Capcom. Um, gosh, I don't know if I know much about this. I, this might have come out here. Um, it looks like an action game. Uh, it looks pretty cool. So I'll have to check that one out. Uh, thank you very much for that. Um, next up we have Roller Coaster World. Uh, another one of the simple uh, 2000 series. Um, I don't know if this is like a uh, simulation. Uh, I guess I would assume so. Um, so there's that. Uh, Maze Action, another wonderfully uh, <laughs> like generic sounding title. Um, this looks really cool. Uh, it's like, it, I, I seem to remember this is sort of like, I don't know, you're, you're going up against like another character in this maze and you just have to like go through and fight them or something. It, that seemed pretty cool. And, um, oh, this is neat. Again, I don't know this is, if this is one that I, uh, that I requested. This is Space Invaders Invasion Day, um, by, uh, Taito and Sammy. Oh, weird. <laughs> this is really cool looking. Um, so it's got, like, uh, you've got these characters that you can see here. So there's, like, it seems like some sort of drama with, like, a story mode. And then there's like a survival mode, and it looks like, you know, it's Space Invaders uh, ish. You guys probably can't really see that too well, but you can see the characters there on the top. And um, yeah, that looks really cool. Uh, one last thing I nearly missed here um, a, uh, a Mega Drive Genesis game. Uh, this is, let's see, Mega Games 1. Oh, this is cool. So it's like a little collection, um, kind of like the 6 and 1 or something like that. This has got Columns, Super Hang On, and World Cup Italia 90. So, uh, very cool. That's awesome. Uh, I really want to see if this will work on my um, Genesis. I do have one modded, um, so you can switch between, like, J Japan and, and U.S. So uh, I'm going to see if that will work on that, or if I can maybe mod it up to um, to play this. So, uh, very cool. Thanks so much. All right, so um, so those are the games that... Uh, that um, ben sent me. Um, thank you so much for that. Um, just really, really enjoyed um, being able to, you know, try out that that chocolate and uh, and get all this stuff. I'm really gonna have a, have a good time checking all these out. And um, this is the start of my, you know, PAL PS2 collection here. So you know, who knows? Maybe <laughs> maybe I'll find some other cool stuff to um, to add to that uh, as time goes by. But you know, right now I definitely have uh, have plenty of stuff to check out. Um, I do have a package here for you, and, um, you know, as soon as we 
decide that that's <laughs> that's full enough, I'll, uh, I'll definitely send that your way. Um, so anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed checking this out, and I hope you'll join me again for more uh, video game and anime-related videos. Thanks for watching.